Geek Fam definitely, I, I, once again, I don't think they really need to change the draft too hard. Yes, there was a few pieces that were maybe a little too much to handle, too much to think about. But overall, I think whatever draft they pick, they just need to be able to match it with their play style in game. And again, understanding <laughs> like when you are strong, oh, understanding your power it. spikes. Now Geek Fam is going to be the first pick. AB Brand is going to be the second pick. I will choose my Geek Fam own bending out Arlet, Nolan, as well as Joy. AB Brand is going to ban out 1-1, one, one, Guinevere, and perhaps Faramis. Yeah, Faramis is getting banned out. Same Geek exact bans as last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Faramis, I would say, is pretty hot ban today. Is to Faramis? 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 Actually, yeah, yeah, surprisingly, which for a while it wasn't really banned that much. But the and now it's back good. into it. Yep. So okay. now Bruno getting picked up by, by Geek Fam. I feel like they need, if they really want to go for the jungle, make sure their mid and roam is pretty strong level two. So far, okay. maybe Lilia. Um, yeah, we haven't seen. And what's yeah. crazy that we saw so much Lilia for two days, and now we've seen none today. No, Varia has been the hot pick. Yeah, she has, and I think you know the fact that she's still open. You could possibly see her just picked up once Boxia again. again. Boxia Matilda. Maybe Boxia Matilda. Uh, leave the uh, Novari open. If the Novario is open, let's say it is Boxia Matilda, right? Always on the uh, there's the Matilda. Let's see if it's Boxia. But does this warrant Geek Fam to take the Novario here this time? They did. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, they go for the Trizla. Add a little bit of a change from the last time. Geek Fam now could take the Boxia for themselves, which I think that would be a little better with Marky. He mm. plays the utility jungler well, but I think as the problem was with the Akai, then he can kind of let Beloisky do whatever he wants. He doesn't have to worry about messing up Beloisky's plan or his sets like he would with the Akai. So I think that could be a solid pick here. Maybe follow it up also with a mage, with the Valentina. I mean, what like about that. a Minotaur as well? Minotaur, Minotaur, yeah. Minotaur and uh, Boxia. Yeah. Do or, you feel like Minotaur's S tier right now? I feel like yes. Is he? It's like Minotaur prevents the opposing side from freely taking up an assassin. Well, they decide well, to we take the Lilia. Talked about her earlier and the Boxer. So Geek Fam gonna go ahead and rock those two picks here. Okay, A plus for Minotaur. A plus. Yeah, I'm thinking about it more. It's a very good play, but it's not like uh, one size fits all. There are certain ways where the Minotaur could be a little bit more yeah uh, risky. I would say. Yeah, definitely not. It's maybe S minus. A plus, S minus. <laughs> I mean, we're on the same ballpark. It? It's, it's, like, it's just a mental state. You he's know? Like, pretty whatever strong. You put it, yeah. I was going to say, mental state. S minus is basically an A plus, like, I guess. Percentage wise. Sorry. A B plus is basically an A minus. Is that know? what we're saying now? Listen, <laughs> man. That's what I told my parents. Potato, That's tomato, <laughs> tomato, potato. It's, it's, C's, it's C's whatever. get degrees, yeah. man. I told my parents C plus is basically a B. Come on. Pretty much. They're going to pick up the Claude now. So more switch-ups coming from the side of AP Bren here. They're not going to keep things the same. We essentially have a, a big change of draft from both teams. Now into the second phase of Bannings. The Paquito from the side of Geek Fam. Do they go into the roam position here? Maybe ban out the Tig, ban out the... Or no, they already have the Matilda. So maybe go into the jungler here? Novaria, ban out Novaria. Novaria is a solid. Yeah. I think you need to. actually. Maybe Geek Novaria, Fam. Valentina. Yeah, I feel like that's all it. The other worry is the jungler. What is gonna be? A... No, I think. To I be think, fair, I, I the feel fact like you have to respect. Me. What's your command? Uh, you... Your team. Oh, but they, 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 they ban a fanny. No, I mean like, even if you wanted to against a boxer, you could you could literally go, Martise, if you want to. You could go the Fredrin if you wanted to. You could yeah, still go too utility. Many answers, yeah. yeah you, you could still go utility. Yeah. Well, Minotaur banned. So A plus or S minus doesn't matter. Uh, and out. Kids at home, you can negotiate your scores with your parents. Yep. It's like, well, you didn't get an A. B plus is basically an A. I Minus. heard it on. Uh, I heard it on the M5 broadcast. Yeah. Trek said From it. From LaFell. Trek said it. Trek said it. I did not. I said Minotaur is S minus. I said Minotaur is A plus. And, and Nice was the it one. Was that's nice. Like, yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> All right. Nice is the one. well. I was a teacher in the past, so you know. He can use that. Nice was the one that taught me a lot. So it looks like that. for Geek Fam, they are. Thinking oh, about the jungler, so they're not all that worried about the Novaria. And if you're not worried about the Novaria, I'm hoping they have a way to dive in the backline. But the problem right now is the quad. It's like, how do you stop this quad? Because when it comes to the late game, and AB Brand is pretty strong in the late game. This what is the answer? Do they pick up something like a like a Kaja? And the Minotaur has been bad now, so the Minotaur can't stop the basic duet. 
Kaja? Joe? Joe. Kaja wouldn't be out of this world. I mean, a lot of people have been respecting it. It has been used here and there. I think it also kind of pairs well with the Lilia and the Basha with that kind of like group up. Yeah, just yeah, kind yeah. of run down on you. But it also... There's the Martise. Could be a... Romardis is nice. Yeah. AP Bren now bringing in some early game security. So they have the claw, they have the early game. Conquest. Their draft is rounding out very well. Oh, wait, Ruby. We need that same round out from the side of Geek Fam. Yeah. The Ruby would work well against the Romardis. I mean, it's the Boloisky special. I would say the old special, right? I mean, if you if you're gonna bring it out on any game, this is kind of a good game to do it, especially when you have a a uh, Ruby Boxy as well as Lilia. You can kind of force fights. The only thing that bothers me, especially working against a Claude, you add in the Matilda there. Like, there's so much movement. utility movement. Yeah. There's so much ability to kind of juke out some of these abilities from Geek Fam so far. I mean, with BMI alone, we see that a lot of times. And why a lot of teams decide to draft the quad, right? But when the I answer, the that's the Khalid. Yeah, that's the Khalid. And there's the Ruby. The Ruby. So I, I like this because of the fact that I was just saying, right? You you can juke out a lot of these things for against Geek Fam, but because now they have Khalid, who's usually the, let's say, the second one to enter, right, for the most part. So if... For some reason, Boloisky can't land the I'm Offended, can't land the CC, you still have this extra option, right? It's like option B, you can go in, try to find a follow-up yourself, but still, I feel like the lineup so far for AP Bren, mobility-wise, the movement-wise, utility and everything else, is going to be difficult to deal with. Novaria or Valentina should be very solid here. Novaria is just that you're kind of not going to get caught. Yeah, so more... more yeah. It's going to definitely, I mean, if they pick up the Novari here, it's all on Luke to catch the Novari. They go for the Valentina instead. So they get a little more utility, a couple more answers. I mean, at this point, AP Bren, I'm pretty, I, I kind of would have liked the Novari there. But honestly, the Valentina, another nice scaler, something else to go great if things get into the late game. Um, and also a nice, I think Novara really kind of thrives in mid game, honestly. So we have the Martis for early, we have the Valentina, we have Claude for late. Just very well-rounded overall. Valentina as well can grab the black shoe, so can be overly aggressive and still be careful. Yeah. Can or, still be safe. Or the I'm offended, if you want to try to have something to engage, the sandstorm, plenty of options, honestly, plenty of variety for few here. Now, Geek Fam is kind of winning out in the lineup rating, but we saw the same thing last time, so I can't give that too much credit. AP Bread starting this best of five with the first victory. This time, Boloisky with the Boloisky special with the Ruby. Can they take down the bees, or this time will the beehive again conquer against Geek Fam, leaving them with a 0 2 loss? We're jumping into the land of dawn. Can Geek Fam win this one? All right, so something important here, I Welcome think, for the side Legend. of Geek Fam is going to be Luke on this Khalid. You have nice rotations, you have some nice early game aggression. You can help out in the mid lane, you can kind of rotate around and give your team some support if they end up needing it. You can even possibly get some nice, like you could punish Ogwen for doing something like this. Or if they want to go for an invade as well, you have those possibilities. Right now, it looks like Ogwen is just trying to waste the time of a boy as well as Boloisky. It's like Boloisky didn't use the second skill, so so far, Ogwen should be able to survive this and view the shit out of oh. damage. Gonna take quite a bit of damage himself. Boloisky holding on though. Gonna go ahead and heal up just a little bit. Didn't have to use the flicker either, so he still has that. But once again, this is what you expect from the roamers, right? Put the pressure on early on into the jungle, try to get a little bit of an advantage that you can. And once again, big thing for Geek Fam is not letting early on that lead slip out of your hands right away, right? This is the scary thing about a Martis pick. Those, that early burst potential even from a decimate alone and then the snowball potential from that, if it happens to be a double kill, is, you know, quite scary. We've seen that in previous games throughout M5 so far and how out of hand that can get. The thing about a Martis is kind of all in. So Geek Fam, I feel like if they're able to level up fine, fight around the turtle, try to punish the, the Martis, and then try to get for, for that turtle. A little bit of action up top. Oh. Geek might try to go for the play here. We're trying to get Flap Teasy here, but Flicker will do just fine. Now Kyle Teasy with the response to back him up, but ultimately nothing happening. Turtle now gonna spawn though for both teams as they get in position. Still trying to get that level four as well. So, they'll go ahead and just get ready for that. Yeah, a lot of players still waiting on the level four spike. 
This first turtle could actually be a huge huge one. We have a lot of players from both teams here. Beloisky, though, still on the mid side. And without him, it could be hard to get some of these sets. It's going to kind of be more up to Luke to maybe dive into this back line. Looks like he's trying to get that angle. Penalty zone going to be used by Flap. Still Whack and Marky here. Trying to keep him at bay. Won't be able to get the turtle. First blood going to the hands of Kyle. Teasing with the response from Luke. Comes through. Now he's dealing with it. Has to flick around. Beloisky and a boy. Here to help him out. So the one for one trade. But it was Kyle TZ that went down. Beloit, now the focus. Both teams still working for it. Beloitsky, a couple hits away, gets taken down. Marky making his way back to get this what? turtle. <laughs> so Marky secures the objective. It's the plus of being able to get there a little bit faster, right? Because they low. both died right about the same time. He gets there a little bit quicker. At least they secure the turtle there. AP Bren still holding the goal lead, but it is a small win after the two deaths that they just took. Right now, I'm reminded of the quote coming in from Few, understanding how Beloisky plays, where he will make the play even if it's very risky. So this might be the plan of AP Bren, is that they're willing to sacrifice the neutral objective because that happened in game number one. Game number two, it looked like they were, like if they got the turtle, that was just a bonus. Mm -hmm. Their main goal, shut down the players, making it so that they could not play, making sure that they spent most of the time uh, basically just doing in the fountain, not doing anything. No, just kind of choking them out where they can, right, for the most part. And again, it's still pretty even, even with how all that kind of went down. Few though, taking the black shoes himself, We'll be waiting patiently. A boy, though, going to be in trouble. Flap TZ jumping in. Penalty zone once again. Luke joining the party, going in, finding Flap TZ. Flap falls. Now Luke gets out with a ranging sandstorm. Geek fam, though, still evening things out. Will find one for themselves. Yeah, they find another kill there, which is very big for them, right? So now it's two to two. They got a kill on a Kyle TZ. They got a kill on a Flap TZ. Luke not doing too bad with the kill in his pocket as well. It's exactly what you want to have with a Khalid. And if we take a look at the gold lane, both of them at a stalemate. And I th right now, Chidera honestly kind of winning out in his lane a little bit, keeping uh, Super Marco under the tower, keeping pressure up. And as long as he can keep that up, yes, Super Marco still has oh. some late game advantage. Oh. They're going to find Few. Few too late, though, to get the black shoes. So he's going to fall there. Again, a great decision coming out from Geek Fam. Now working on this lead they're building. Turtle's going to be up once again. Both junglers getting in position. All right, Geek Fam playing into their power spike very nicely with Bell. Yeah, Wojski goes in, finds Kyle as well as Flapteezy. Looks like this Turtle is going to be oh, going Kyle. over to Geek Fam. Kyle Teezy can't even get close. Marky able to secure the Turtle. Now Flap waiting for the rest of the team to get here. Circling Eagle going to be used. Finds it, gets the flicker oh. out. Now Kyle TZ punishing, gets the double. Looking for another Marky though. Luckily gonna be tanky quite a bit, but won't be enough as Few comes in to clean up the kill. Again, this is just trading. Sure you can get the turtles, we're gonna get the kills. And at this point, Kickman with the lineup they, they have, they should be winning a lot of the fights, but they're just taking way too much damage before the fight even begins. I mean, at least Jadera gets that tower. They're going to move this, this mid side. Oh, oh, nice Raging Sandstorm. Luke jumping in on Oakwin. Going to be just fine, though. Few also working with his own I'm Offended. Going to pull them through. They disengage. And as you were saying, at least they get that turret down in the bottom lane for Geek Fam. Yeah, now that Chidera can kind of get involved in these fights, it'll give Geek Fam a little bit, a little bit of an edge here. They have been kind of winning out in some of the fights. The last time, Luke was so close to getting the kill, and Few comes in and gets a Terrify before he can get his third spin on his first kill. And he would have got the kill, but then that Terrify just stops him in his tracks. Yeah. And that was like the big turnaround in that last turtle fight right here. Geek, though. Oh. oh. Beloy, going to find Few. Few going to be in trouble once again. Oh. Yeah, tries to get out with a Guiding Wind, but the damage is too much as he falls. Ogwin trying to keep the map bay from getting the Tier 1 in mid lane. Kyle T's going to go for it. Gets the Decimate on top of Tadera, just like that in the mid lane. And they work for Beloisky as well on the bottom side. But doing work, Luke on top gets the turret. Kyle TZ getting that kill onto Kadera is actually huge. It is. Because the moment he got the Berserker Fury and he was able to take down a turret, that was the moment that, all right, guys, now we can move as four. Move as a unit because if you have 
uh, the Ruby, the Lilia, the Bruno, and the Boxia moving together, they're basically going to win majority of fights, but getting the kill onto Kadera, that's going to stop them for quite a bit. Well, once again, fighting for the objective here. Two for two so far for Geek Fam. Marky trying to get in position, rolling around. Oakwin takes quite a bit of damage himself, has to flick around. Marky will get the next turtle. Three for three. Few taking the front of the damage. Black shoes, but Chadera wants the kill. Won't be able to get it though. Now Geek Fam making their way door towards the mid lane. Looked like Kyle Teasy was still hungry for more, but they have to back off even out of their jungle. Right now, honestly, if Geek Fam plays it well, they can actually get a lot of objectives on the map without actually going for the kills. They just gotta zone people away. Luke zone everyone away, a boy just dealing the damage, same as Kadera, and then don't risk things out. Just just poke them, make them go outside of their turret, you know, just to go back to base, and then grab those turrets for free. Man, Luke and Chadera are gonna start hurting more and more and more. As you mentioned, the Berserker's Fury's in. He's got the Haas Claws. And then we take a look at Luke. He's got the Blade of Hebrides. And now he's got some penetration in as well with the Malefic Roar. And that's gonna have to be something that AP Bren watches out for. Luckily, Super Marco hasn't taken a death yet. So he's, yes, he's a little bit behind Chadera, but there is a possible late game saving grace with oh. Super Marco on this clock. Focusing once again, Beloisky trying to keep the map bay. Will be gonna be used. Now Geek Fam looking for the collapse. They're gonna jump on Few. He's taken out. Luke goes in with Raging Luke. Sandstorm. Not gonna find the connection he's looking for. Kyle Teasy. The heal. The heal is there for the Sand Guard as he gets punished. It's a double for Chadera and they punish AP Bren. What a deny. That heal, that, that was just literally slivers of health right there. A beautiful play from, who is this team right now? Dude, Where was this that last game? Like I said, warm up, right? They just needed to warm up and I would say AP Bren, they wouldn't want to make a mistake of going in when they don't have to because if they want to go onto Kadera, try to kill him off as quickly as possible, even though, yes, they went for uh, Boloisky, but Boloisky was able to survive, and then, oh, wait, did you use all your skills? Kadera's mm. just going to jump back in. So it's something that they have to be careful of. The burst coming in from Geek Fam is quite strong. So if they can get a kill, get a kill very, very quickly, and then maybe get out. I definitely like it. Now this is going to be first Lord of the game. Geek Fam definitely holding an advantage, but I like that they're kind of they're pacing this out. They have the uh, the long lane down bot. They have an advantage down there as well. So as long as they can, you know, just they can take this. They don't have to take this too fast. Um, when it comes to the game in total, though, there are some things they have to worry about if they want to go into the long haul. Well, that I'm, I'm offended. Not going to land from Poloiski. Trying to keep Super Marco at bay. Lord's still going to be worked on. Half health now for both teams. Conceal play going to be committed. Ogwin. Forced out of here, half health himself. Luke getting in position, but Lord will reset. AP Bren still taking it slow here against Geek Fam. Now with the lead, 3.5 ahead. At this point, AP Bren, they gotta pick a target, man. Ogwen finds Luke. A boy is not gonna be that easy to, to get, so I don't know. AP Bren is gonna be difficult for them to go with. Yep, go again. There's the oh. I'm offended. Gonna find the connection, flap easy. Taken out really quickly. Oh, still no angle able to find just yet. AP Bren might have to just back off here. Kyle Teasy having trouble getting through the front line of Geek Fam as they secure the Lord. Well played from Geek Fam. Very meticulous overall. Able to take that. Not only that, but they're winning out in the lanes too. The macro, the micro, everything in these fights. Geek, I mean, they definitely warmed up. If that's what game one was, then now they are a well-oiled machine, and AP Bren is having trouble with them. I would say the biggest glow up from game one to game two is definitely Kadera. Not only did he win his lane, mm. but so far he's been positioning so well, yep. and not just defensively, but offensively as well, going back in, being able to dish out the damage, making it so that AP Bren, none of their front miners are really safe. He really stepped up from game one to game two. Also, also Beloisky. Beloisky's actually been making these uh, I'm offended count. He's been making these skills lock on, and he's not just going down immediately. Oh. Oh. Teasy gonna jump in on Kadera with the penalty zone. Gonna force him out the best they can, but he's gonna be trapped now. Over committing will get taken down to the bottom side. The Lord finally taken down for AP Bren. Still trying to hold on to as much health on these turrets as they can. 
Half health for this bottom one in the base. The wave's now pushing in. Kadera going to do the work. They get the turret, forcing AP Bren back further Whoa. into the base. They gonna don't to want to overcommit. Beloisky going to jump in, gets oh. the kill. Ogwin going to fall to Kadera. Beloisky, the answer, falls as well. Super Marco still keeping it together here. Geek fam, though, now garnering themselves nearly a 7K lead. Beloisky, the answer. And Marky, the solution. Oh, AP Brand can ask questions, and the question is now, oh, what is going on? And what's <laughs> going on right now? It's flapped. Okay, there, there we, we go. go. There, there we go. go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> question mark. First game, warm up. Because second game, they look hot. And I feel like everybody on the team, like you mentioned that uh, that Chadera stepped up, but even Luke, oh, yeah, Beloisky, it feels good having Luke on this more aggressive hero where he can actually make plays happen. He's not just, you know, got his little fire hose out. Can, is Neil's <laughs> job in, in jeopardy here? Neil, not... Niall, yeah, sorry, Niall. Niall. Niall's job is, is it in jeopardy? Because Marky has been securing <laughs> all these objectives and he's going up against Kyle Deasy. You know, let it be Turtle, let it be Lord. He's been securing let's all Let's not of talk it. about that. I, we'll figure out. We'll figure next, it out next series. I'll say this though. Okay. What say do we this. say? I'll reference what has already been said, and that's the quote from Marky okay. himself. That you know he is really counting on his team, and I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. But also Marky is performing probably the best he can, and he is doing it against one of the best junglers out there. Kyle Teasy right now. He deserves the moniker, the solution. Yeah. It's because he always, I mean, no matter what, he comes in. Yeah. Did he earn that just this last time when he when he subbed uh, in, in, in the MPLID. playoffs? MPLID. Did he, yeah. And yeah. it happened in the playoffs. Yeah. I thought maybe he had that previously nope. when he was in PH. No, huh? Uh, yeah, no. So he came in yeah. as the gold leader, became the solution. Yeah. yeah. And game, what was it, game five he came in? And, or, and, or no, like game three? Match point he came in, right? Yeah. It's 2 0. Imagine that. That was gold lane. Now yeah. he's come in for jungle. After and this, he's winning games. I, I had five. He's going to have a conversation with a boy. He's like, yo, boy, <laughs> you, you ever feel like you want to take a break? <laughs> I got you. You want me to play mid? <laughs> I got you. you what? <laughs> What's next for Margie? Dude, you know? He's going to be like, hey, coach. Ocho <laughs> Gahaba. Ocho <laughs> Gahaba. Hey, coach. Hey, Ocho Gahaba, you know? You want to take a break? I'll coach. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> Hey, not gonna lie, that, that, that could work. The solution. Oh wait, I see my name. Aw, uh, it was behind. Kyle? Your name's Kyle? No, LaFell. Kyle Tucson? No, no, it was, it was, at that sneaky, you know, it was uh, upper, but yeah. Now we're gonna talk about the game. It looks like Kadera, the way that he's been positioning, and here's the thing about Bruno. Once he has the Haas Claw, the, the damage conversion into lifesteal is massive. Mm. So if you don't take him out, or if you don't lock him down, He's just going to keep on surviving. He, it's, a, it's a gold laner with a EXP laner kind of survivability. I want to yeah. does he, did he just pop, in that last dive that came from, um, wow. did he pop a Wind of Nature? Does he have the Wind of Nature right now? He didn't use it. Because I, th I thought maybe he did. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. How, how confident, how confident <laughs> are you, Lavelle? Not that confident. Huh? Just, you want to yeah. put it back? Roll nah. the tape back. <laughs> I mean, OK. Let me check back, because I don't I remember. Think that's he, what he was working to. I could be wrong, but I think that's what his next item was working to. Yeah, that's why. I, and no, it looked like he's got it. He's got it. He got, got it. he got like a full face full of uh, a penalty blazing zone du and, and blazing duet there, and he was able to. And I'm pretty sure he popped it. Pretty sure which, he used it. Yeah. Which means at that point, he is in good standings, man. Yeah. Like they literally need to hard CC him down, and they don't really have that exactly. They got to get like a terrify, a penalty zone, a knock up from the Matilda. And that's not going to be easy. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're trying to focus down on, uh, you know, getting or, or at least putting pressure on Kadera here, it's like it is Flap. Like, Flap's the one to probably do that. But then when he does it, you got to make sure, too, that there's follow up, right? Because we saw what happened in the last interaction. He did it. Wind of Nature was probably most likely used, if I recall. And then he was just caught out by himself, right? There, there was no other follow up through with the rest of the team. So that is the tough part. Familiar face. Is that Mr. Renmar? That is. Mr. Reptar? I'm looking at this and I don't think he used the Wind no. of Nature. No, I don't think he, he used it. Wow. He so looked he like shadowy there. He looked no, like No, no, it was it like... was the revenge strike. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it was the revenge strike. Okay. So he's just that. Yeah, that's why I'm like I don't think he used the Wind of Nature. No. I'm I'm, I'm looking back at it again. 
How confident are you? No, look at this. <laughs> it's, it's the uh, it's the revenge strike. I don't think he used the wind of nature. All right, Flap I'll, just I'll couldn't get to him. Here, here, here. You, you, you guys can check it out. Yeah, Flap just couldn't get to him. It's right there. What does he look like right there? See? Oh. I mean, you guys can't see what we're, we're, we're yeah, referencing. you can't see what we're referencing. Oh, oh spin. Go Yasu. Let's go Yasu. Let's go Yasu. Let's go Yasu. Oh. Uh, uh, boo. Yeah, he didn't use the window. Does of it look like he's invisible? Does it doesn't look like it right there? No, no, no. It, it looks like it's the aura of the it's revenge. The aura of the revenge strike. Oh, he yeah. said go again. Oh, well, we're, we're going to the game. We're going to the game. You know what, Yasu? Just tell us what happened. Yasu can't hear us, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> big luck. L, big L, Yasu, big L. <laughs> Roll again. Well, what? We're gonna All ask right. for an instant <laughs> replay. Get into the game. It's like instant replay. Did he use the wind of nature? He has it, but I don't think he used it because even the uh, either way he survived. Even the really blazing duet. It doesn't yeah. look like it, it hit him a lot. The point is now that he does have it, whether he used it then or not. It's going to definitely become very hard to lock down onto Tajera here. Now, next Lord's going to be up in 20 seconds. 7,000 gold lead. Do we think that AP Bren tries to uh, get the Lord steal here? I. This is, the, this is the concerning thing, right? Like, AP Bren has done this before where they're able to pull through and somehow get a steal on the Lord, but the lineup that GeekFam has it makes it very difficult. Now they're oh. gonna chase down Super Marco, has the pop, his own wind of nature. They're gonna be forcing that out. Also the Purify as well, all this leading into the Lord now. That is massive. The fact that he already used a majority of the skills means that they can take this board. And if AB Brand wants to contest, they have the option. Do we wanna go for the kill or do we wanna go for the board? When you have a 6.4K advantage, you have the the, how do I say this? You have the benefit of making those choices, especially because you have Kadera on uh, on this Bruno, a boy on this Lilia. You have a lot of poke damage. Oh, Luke, behind enemy lines here. Gonna get whittled down quite a bit. Flickers out. Oakwood okay. gets the kill. So, again, Luke trying to find his own angle in this fight for the Lord. It's gonna be secured, though, for a Geek Fam. But AP Brand might still want something. Again, it might be better they defend in the base. At least put some pressure, at least in the mid lane, tier one, just one hit away, essentially. They're not going to be able to get it just yet. AP Bren still has to be on the defense. Okay, I would say that could have been a win for AP Bren, at least getting something there. But the fact that the wave comes out and now Lord is going to be a little bit delayed, Luke's going to come out just in time. And overall, GeekFam's okay with taking a loss to get that objective. Yeah, I would say it is more a favor towards GeekFam. I, 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 I'm sure Luke didn't want to die there, but he was prepared for that kind of trade. Yep. Now it's all about Geek Fam. Now that the Lord is marching, I feel like for this to be profitable is the, if they can get at least one inhibitor. If they don't get one inhibitor, then it's not going to feel as great. All right, so Super Marco now is max itemed out as well. He's going to be able to shred down this Lord. He's going to be able to maybe make a bleak play happen. It's going to be very important here. Once again, too, a few holding on to the I'm Offended. That could change the course of the fight here as they get ready to march in. Beloisky, the front of the line alongside Marky. Keeping him at bay here. Lord gonna be whittled down slowly but surely. Mid turret finally going down to the base of AP Brent. Still working for it though. I set now on the top side to fully expose it. Keep fam, do they push it in further? Can't get the turret just yet. AP Brent holding it together. Kyle Teasy could be in trouble here, but he gets away with his life still holding on to the top side. A boy has to use the black shoes. And right now, AP Brent holds on a little bit longer despite the 7K deficit. So far, I feel like it's still a win for Geek Fan because they at least needed one and they're working on the second inhibitor here. So I don't know how long AP Brent can, can survive this onslaught. Well, Beloisky yeah. still holding on, oh! goes in! Gets the pull without offended! Penalty zone to come through as well! Super Marco still on the backside, whittling Out down easy. Marky! They're going down one after another! Triple kill for Kadera? Kyle Teasy! Kadera no boy left alive, but AP Bren fights back, only losing few. You now saw in the eyes of Kyle Teasy, he wanted that. He's like, bro, I can smell the maniac.
and that we were we were saying that all the past fights weren't really wins for AP Bren, but that one right there was a win for AP Bren. And I was just saying this next Lord is gonna kind of be the point where if Geek Fam doesn't finish the game after this, yeah. it really becomes a stalemate at that point. It really becomes on who just plays better. And right now, AP Bren trying wow. to show that that is very very true. If I learn anything, man, you gotta respect the Claude. Late game Claude. Even though the Claw can take a lot of damage from the Bruno, but if he can calculate well, I don't know. Something in my career keeps on telling me. <laughs> Late game, don't underestimate the Claw. I think even given that whole exchange, that whole fight that we just witnessed, AP Brand still has to be careful. It's actually going to be difficult for them to work into this Lord Dance right now. You can see Super Marco still putting the pressure there. Conceal play going to be used. Luke trying to find his own angle once again. Flap TZ, gonna keep him at bay. Few also picking up the Divine Glaive in the middle of it, still working for it. Super Marco finally joining the fight, but still both junglers holding it together. Yeah, right now the Lord is around 21,000 HP left, 20,000 now. AP Brand, if they want to contest for this, they're gonna try to punish them. Well, voice keepers, apparently. Oh. Few also holding on to the I'm offended here. Might look for a zone. Penalty zone gonna come through. Once again, Super Marco on the backside. Kadera pops the wind of nature, though. BMI's back. Kyle Teasy gets out of dodge as well with a guiding wind. Both teams still healthy. Don't lose anyone. And we're back to the Lord Dance. That was Wind of Nature versus Wind of Nature. Both of them just unloading on each other. And I think when it comes down to that 1v1, it's going to be who pops theirs first, right? If you end up popping it first and the next player pops it later, the one who pops it later is going to have a little bit of an advantage. The oh. oh! Luke takes care of few just like that. Where did he go? And now, once again, Lord going to go in and reset. Both teams still gonna go. Penalty zone to jump in. Luke, Luke. goes in on the bottom side. No, not AP like this. Bren yes, not like this. can't this. get yes, there like in this. time. Luke not does like it this. after getting few. He goes into the base and takes the game for Geek Fam, evening the series one to one. Luke just goes in and like, don't look at me. I'm ending the game. Geek Fam now equalizing one to one. And looks like Luke, he's feeling it. He's like, I got this, fam. All right, everybody doubted them. And right now they have equalized the score one to one. And in a wonderful fashion, they controlled that game the whole way through. And right when control was almost lost, Luke comes in with the backdoor plays and just seals the deal. Man, again, there it is, right? Niall. Where's Ocho? Giving some words over to Marky. He's Ocho, there. where is he? Well, look, regardless, man. Shadows. You got to say, Marky's doing an outstanding job. Outstanding. Outstanding job here. The rest of the team really rallying behind him as well, allowing this, uh, like we said, from game one, it was their warm-up game, and they came out swinging for game two. They're, they're online now. Whatever the pep talk is in the dugout, it worked. Mm. Because this is a whole different team, man. Because at this point, they go in for those trades around the neutral objectives, and then they get what they want yeah. and more. I love this. I love the fact, too, that, you know, once again, the the ability to give that gold lane experience, like I like to call it for Chidera there, to shine on this Bruno as well, the damage was great. The timings for a lot of things overlapping was great. And now we got to look at the MVP of this game. We see Ocho Gahaba, <laughs> he's there. But looks like, look, it's going to be the MVP and again. Dude, two, three, four. KDA doesn't matter. KDA doesn't matter. KDA doesn't matter. Pish, doesn't pish, matter. Posh, pish, posh. 40% kill participation doesn't matter. He deals the damage. He creates space. He ended the game. Throw the Kada out the window because Kada. what what really matters is making the play when it matters. And that's what Luke did today. All game, I probably would have said it was Tadera. But Luke takes that MVP very, very quickly there. Dude, again, the way that I, I got to say, I almost would have liked the Novaria pick better for AP Brand here because Few had such a hard time. And Luke made this apparent, especially as we get on through the course of the game, right? there, He was everywhere he needed to be. Sometimes he was there as that first option in the fight. Sometimes the second option here punishing them and uh, even 
later on when you see, you know, the quick sand guard really extend some of these fights, it works out so well. Once again, a great performance from Luke and just Geek Fam all around. Yeah, Geek really just kind of pushing the gas on the game, so much so that even when they took a little loss like what we saw there, they were still able to keep the lead, and I think it had heavily to do with the fact that they were able to group up quickly. Kyle Teasy, I mean, he was just a presence to be messed with, but it wasn't enough today, Luke. Almost going out there, but that was like, that was where yeah. I knew, oh my god, Luke is online. It's like one of those situations where it's like, you activated my trap card. <laughs> and my trap card is a quick set guard. And at that point, you're in too deep. It's like, oh no, what have I gotten myself into? Most definitely. Now, the game, this game actually oh. went on a nice amount of time. And they comboed up very well. And this is once again, Kyle Teasy just showing that he will not go down. So many fights he single-handedly, I think, turned around, honestly. I saw what happened just now. No wonder Gifam lost that fight. Kadero was hitting the orange buff. Yeah, he was hitting the orange, but like yeah. his position there, like he needed to be on that side, right? Away from all that chaos. And once again, Luke going and ending the game himself after getting that kill on Fume. Yeah, and again, this game, in terms of the kill score, 15 to 11, it seems more competitive than the, uh, the first game, but Really, Geek Fam, especially for the damage dealers, they were able to get good positioning to, to really dish out the damage. All right, and Luke brings in the killing spree and everything too. Just He just knows he wants to come into this and do damage last in team fights. And I love seeing this Khalid right now. I love the fact that everyone's been building him so damaging. And it's it's just, you've been saying, it, I feel like all week, LaFell, like damage has become yeah. so important right now. And it's definitely refreshing to see lately. Yeah, damage is definitely king. So I kind of feel like we're going to a meta where your mid laner is going to be damage, yeah. your gold laner is going to be damage, and it becomes a question, is it going to be the jungler? Is it going to be the EXP laner? Is it yeah. going to be the roamer? So if the roamer has someone like a diggy, then everyone else can be tanky. That's what I love about, again, with XP laners, the, the way it is right now, right? There's room for these, basically these brick walls, right? The the kind of second tank option for your teams, but also like this, where Khalid, naturally, even the way that he's built is for the damage, right? And you look in for those setups, you look in for that damage threat, and then it's followed up once again by that Lilia Pike, by that Bruno pick that is prioritized so much from other teams. So then everything is layered on top of each other, and it gets really difficult to deal with as the game goes on. So, you know, a few people on the side of AP Bren, they lock in the, the um not the brute force, the the anti the anti cross, anti -cross right? Yeah. It helps well to deal with uh with the Khalid, right? Because it's yeah. a lot of skill based damage. But I feel like they lock it in a little bit too late. Maybe too worried about Tajer, too yeah. worried about you know, too worried about a boy on the Lilia. When all along it was Luke that was really unloading a lot of damage there. Let's take a look at some of these stats though. The rich guy will be Tajer with 825 gold per minute. The carry a boy, sandbag, flap teasy, and the forgotten one, Marky, with 11 assists. We're talking about the Lilia and a boy proves that yes, in this meta, Lilia is very strong. 105,000 damage dealt. AB Brand in this game, I'm, I am interested to see the damage output that they were able to, yeah. to, to push out. Again, you got to remember too, not many teams have given a loss to AB Brand, like in terms yeah. of, you know, from game to game here. So, once again, looking at even the interviews and everything we've heard from Geek Fan, from Marky alone, this already kind of speaks volumes. Momentum is obviously going to be in their favor here. And here's the damage dealt as it unfolded. Yeah, looking at Super Marco, he has been able to do well, same as Kyle Tizzi as well as, oh, but few as well as a boy. That's a little bit too far when it comes to the damage. Few doing 38,000, stark difference when he was using the Novaria. So yeah. this kind of does justify, like, if we're, look, if we're talking about numbers, there's a clear difference when he's using Valentina as well as Novaria. Well, he, he had so much trouble getting in, right? You have this Ruby that can risk getting caught because the thing about the Valentina is you want to dash in, you want to unload a little bit of damage, and then dash back out. 